Hi, in this video, I will tell you 5 Photoshop shortcuts that you will ever use. So the first shortcut I think you will use the most is Ctrl plus Z. And what it does is that it basically undo the steps, I know you all make mistakes, so this is important. So if I just paint in here like this, And now if I press Ctrl plus Z, the one I just did will go away. So this is the one I just did, and if I press Ctrl plus Z, it will go away. Now if I want this one to go as well, I'll simply press Ctrl plus Z again. So if I draw more here. And now press Ctrl plus Z, so the one I just did will go away first, and the rest will follow as I'll press Ctrl plus Z. And I guess, Ctrl plus Z can easily undo 15 to 20 steps, which is great for the person like you who make mistakes. The next Photoshop shortcut I think you will use is Ctrl Shift Z. And it is the opposite of Ctrl Z, meaning it redo the steps, where Ctrl Z undo the steps. So for example, if I paint here, and now accidentally press Ctrl Z twice, two of them disappeared, where I only wanted to remove one. So to get it back you will press Ctrl Shift Z, so remember. Ctrl Z will remove the steps, and Ctrl Shift Z will bring those steps back. And I guess you can easily redo around 15 to 20 steps. The next shortcut was actually asked by someone. To which I replied. But then I realized. There might be more people who don't know this. And I should include that in this video. Well our third shortcut is Ctrl D, and it basically deselects the selection. So for example, if I make a selection of these spots. So as you can see they are selected. If you see these lines going around it means that the selection is active. So to deselect, or to remove or hide the selection you will press Ctrl D, and the selection will be gone. Moving on to the next shortcut which is Ctrl J, and it does two things, first is that it makes a copy of any layer. So my background layer is selected, and if I press Ctrl J it will just make a copy, and the more you press the more copies it will make. And it is always good to at least make a copy first, and then do all the stuff, and not just ruin the real image. The second thing it does that, if you have selected something, and then you press Ctrl J. So Photoshop will only put that selected thing in a separate layer. And you can easily change a background or anything like that. And this leads us to our last shortcut, which is Ctrl T. As you can see our subject is way bigger than our background, so we will press Ctrl T. And then you will see these lines which you can use to transform your subject. And you will also find some other options if you right click. Such as flip horizontal or wrap etc. So these were the 5 Photoshop keys everyone use while photo editing. And turns out that most of you who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you like the content and want to support the channel, then please do it, it's free, and you can always change your mind later.